Today we're going to show how to stretch canvas of a stretcher arms by using loose or canvas by the meter. Stretcher arms, for those of you who don't know, are machined to have a ridge on the outer or they can be beveled as this one is on an angle. So that is the right side where the canvas is going to touch the, the arms or the wood frame. And you'll see that they've been machined to have a tongue in groove type arrangement. So what we'll do is we will just wiggle these into place just loosely to start with, making sure that you've got the right side of the arms showing up. And if you buy your stretcher arms from retail, the good quality ones will have a stamp or the name of their manufacturer, and that's the reverse side. So now we're going to make it square. You can use a corner of a table to get your square, or if you've got a large set square at home, that will give you the right, uh, the right 90 degree angle. You'll need a mallet. So we'll just square it up and okay, that's pretty square. So now we've got our frame put together. And you'll notice that the reverse of it is where the size is printed. That's the back of your canvas and that is obviously the other side is the front. You will need a pair of canvas pliers which are nice and wide so that they'll, they'll pull things uniformly and you will need a staple gun. So you'll need to cut a piece of canvas roughly 10 centimeters larger than your canvas on all sides. In other words, you want about 10 centimeters here and here and here and here. Right, so now we're going to start stretching the canvas. Um, you'll notice again, that's the back part of it. So the canvas is going to come over here. I'm going to staple it on the sides. Some people prefer to staple it at the back. Entirely up to you. The method is the same. So I will fold that over and I will simply put a staple in the middle. And then I will go to the other side, pull your canvas gently by your thumb and put this staple here which coincides or is in line with a staple we put down there. What you will notice now is that there's like a wrinkle that goes up and that's what we want because that'll give us a guide as we're stretching that way and that way. Okay. Now we'll put a staple in here and in here. So I'll we'll take the pliers and I will gently pull it. You don't have to put too much pressure on it and staple it. And see where the staple has gone in. And now we'll do it to the opposite side. Same thing, pull, 
staple. And there's our wrinkles coming up. There are some thoughts that we should continue on one side and then to the opposite side. I like to work from the center out, one by one, with corresponding sides. All right, so now we've finished stapling. We leave about 10 centimeters here so that we can do a fold in, in each of the, the corners, the angles. And the idea is this piece here that's going that way, bring it in right and tight against the top of a canvas or the front of a canvas and just pull it down <coughs> and so we're just pulling this down and then I will staple that so you can see that you've only got the one fold here you don't want a lot of folds and now we'll do this one here. Just pull it down gently and bang. So now you can see that you've got a staple here and here and you've got a fold running out the back. I'm actually going to cut that off with a knife later so I won't worry about pinning this down. But if you want to, you could put a staple in this over the top bit. And again, I'm not going to worry about pinning this because I'll be cutting it. So we'll just bring this one down over the top and pin and pin. Okay, so now we're finished with the stapling and we'll just trim the edges off. So now that we've finished trimming it, you can see that there's little bits of a canvas that lift off but I'm not concerned with that because I've done this on the sides because that's going in a frame so the frame will hide all of these but you can see that the canvas is nice and square and smooth and that's how you stretch your own canvas.